In today's video, I'll be showing you a creative way to actually add custom watch faces to your Apple Watch. Yes, we are using an Ultra, but this will also apply on any other Apple Watch that's on the latest firmware update of watchOS. And then I'll also be showing you how you could have access to a large variety of different libraries of other watch faces to choose from, all driven by a large community. And then I'll also be sure to include chapters to timestamp in the video description down below. So you can quickly hop to the right section that you're having troubles in, or you just want to find out more about. So all that and more in today's video. So the app is called Clockology. It's a free download app that you have to download on both devices. So your iPhone and Apple Watch. And before you get started, I highly advise you to launch the app on your iPhone first and then the Apple Watch and set it all up. Now, when you first launch the app, by default, you will have this watch face. This is the default watch face and it, it will actually behave like a watch face. As you can see, the, it actually illuminates as you just move your wrist. Now, the navigation up to Clockology app is really basic. You just swipe to toggle and switch between the other same watch faces you actually added on the app. That's basically it. Because if you long press, yes, you do have the frame to delete, adjust your calorie steps, goals, and stuff like that. If you long press, you can actually customize goals. You can also quickly switch to your music playlist if you're watching or listening to something on your iPhone. So it has that capability. I don't know what's playing. No, <laughs> it's playing music. And you can just exit off of that. But aside from that, it's basically the controls to this app. Yeah, you can get some really cool looking ones. This one matches really well with the Ultra Apple Watch. But again, this software is not exclusive to the Ultra. You, you can follow the same exact instruction on how to install this on a Series 8 and stuff. But real quick, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Ivacy VPN for sponsoring to this video and giving us, the viewers, a $1 month to month for five years deal. If you subscribe right now with IVC VPN, you can have two to 10 devices logged in at the same time as their VPN is actually awarded to be the fastest VPN available. And it's also compatible against basically all the popular well-known OSs, so like Windows, Android, iOS, Linux, or if you wish to have a VPN just for a browser like Chromecast or Firefox, you can totally do so. So with a VPN in general, you have the capability to actually unblock certain region lock stuff, unlock new shows. If you watch something on Netflix, it's only available in the UK with a VPN. You can actually watch that in the USA or other places around the world and vice versa. So if you live in the UK and there's exclusive shows available in the US with this VPN, you'll be able to view it from your homeland without having to actually travel here to actually enjoy some of your favorite Netflix series. So right now, this is a five-year deal. They will literally only pay a dollar every single month for a solid VPN that once more allows you to connect up to 10 devices at the same time. Thank you, IVC, for sponsoring today's video and giving my viewers an amazing deal. Now back to the video. So if you actually launch the Clockology app on your main iPhone here, let me lower the brightness real quick. You have all these different clock faces to choose from. All right here, a lot of different unique styles. I see some that evolve coding and such. And you got some Halloween theme now, since October is around the corner. The Iron Giant's also here, the Duck Edition. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Duck Edition. And all you wanna do is just select the up arrow, or if you wanna edit some of the stuff, like some of the information, you have the freedom to totally do so. By tapping edit, you could adjust basically anything on this. And once you're satisfied, just hit the up arrow. It's sending to the Clockology app. Give it a few seconds. And just like that, it is now on our Apple Watch. And we have our battery life stat, which somewhat matches the actual battery life. So it's kind of off by a few, but it does have the correct time and such. And when you put your wrist away, it does dim down the screen and pause the animation to preserve battery life. But in case you haven't guessed yet, it does require you to have the app running at all times to really use these watch faces. But now if you like to actually install third party watch faces, you have to download the profile, the beta profile for the clock lodge of the app, which I'll include the media file to it in the video description down below. It's directly from clock lodge of the, so you can trust it. I've been using this app for like two years now. Nothing bad ever happened to me. They don't steal your data or anything like that. It's just an enthusiast fan base app. So once you click on the link, just go ahead and click on enabled beta, let it download. 
and on top right here on Safari, just go into your download tabs and just go ahead and click on it. It will automatically launch the Clock Elodge the app and will do everything automatically. Just follow the on-screen instructions, but it's really easy and straightforward. And once you do that, now you're ready for the next step. And I just go on the home page right here and where it says join community, you have the choice of using t Telegram, which I personally don't use, Facebook, Reddit, or TikTok. I personally prefer using Facebook because with the Facebook group, you could easily have access to the search bar. And since we're doing a Pokemon theme, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Pokemon Collect Largely and see what the community have created. And there's a couple other awesome ones here. All that's also available. This one looks interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and download it. So this one, this user is using Dropbox. Click on it. Tap these little three dots right here and you wanna go ahead and open it on Safari. Let it load and I'm gonna go ahead and continue to the website. Tap download, download one more time. Let it download and now go into your download folders and open up the most recent one and here it is. Now since we are using a 49, I do recommend letting the app fix some of its stuff. So enable fix custom bed lines or else it's just not gonna look right. Confirm input, import I mean. Ooh, it actually plays sound, listen to this. That's pretty cool. So just tap the little up arrow. It should be sent to our Apple Watch. Wait a couple of seconds. It might be a big file. Oh, it failed. <sighs> so when you get a failed, uh, typically I just like to spam it. Eventually it will go through. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna force reset. Now during this part, I didn't realize I was off camera. I went back to Safari and click on that same download file and it brought me back to Clockology and I just hit the up arrow and it worked. And there we go. Now it's working. It's pretty loud, but there we go. It's working on the Ultra. So I did have to force close the app to actually let it to import properly. But now we have this watch face and of course we have these other ones that we have selected. And that's basically all there is to it, to be honest. And if you go back and just browse, you can find some insane designs as well that match really great with the Ultra Apple Watch. Like just Rolex one for instance. Once more, open it up on Safari, download it, and go to your downloads. Go on here, recommend clicking this if you're using the 49 Ultra. And it's now it's just giving me failed options. So yeah, when this happens, just redo it. I, don't, I think it's a bug on their end. So this is what I did previously off camera. I just went back to my downloads and just tapped on it one more time. Relaunched the app automatically and just tapped the up arrow icon. Wait a couple of seconds, if it still doesn't show up, hit the up arrow icon one more time until eventually it gets it. So if you're experiencing any bugs or issues and it's still not working, it keeps saying like failed, uh, my advice would be to uninstall the app on both the iPhone and the Apple Watch and just repeat the same process where you launch the app for the first time, allow it to have permission, same goes for the Apple Watch, and then step two, download the beta, install it to the app, and then step three, join the community, either Facebook, Reddit, or TikTok, and then start downloading watch faces one more time, and hopefully it should fix that problem. And then to switch, you just simply do this, so you can have the frames to quickly select between different watch faces that you have saved on the Apple Watch. The ones you download on social media are actually saved on the Apple Watch itself, not on the app. But that's basically the overview of it. Another thing I highly recommend changing though, if you're experiencing issues where your watch constantly goes back to the main watch face of your Apple Watch, you may wanna go into your Apple Watch settings on your iPhone and go into the general tab right here and go into return to clock. And you want to go ahead and go all the way down to Clockology, select custom and select after an hour. This way, whenever you actually like rotate your wrists and look at it again, it's not going to automatically go back to the default clock face. This way the app can constantly be running in the background. So if you notice on your Apple watch, whenever you put your wrist down and it goes away, just go ahead and make sure you enable that. 
and that should hopefully resolve that problem. Now with this app, if, in case you haven't yet noticed, it only works when the app is running as it'll actually continue to run even when you're not looking at the watch. It does have some always on display functions but it's not really always on display. It just will eliminate the animation to preserve battery as much as possible. But in reality, this app will drain the battery on your Apple Watch as it always has to be running for you to actually have the watch faces. So with that said, on the Ultra, you should expect to get about one day of battery life worth. And on other Apple Watches, probably half of that. It's just one of those apps that you just run whenever you feel like just making your Apple Watch stand out a little bit more if everybody else also has Apple Watches. So I highly recommend just using this Apple Watch whenever you just feel like separating your device from everybody else's. Aside from that, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, links to everything will be all linked in the description down below. If you got some good useful information out of the video, greatly appreciate if you actually leave this video a like. Seriously, leave this video a like. I demand you. I'm just kidding. But it would be nice if you can, as well as get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. Now, if you look to, wish to watch more, maybe you're curious to find out more about the battery life on your device compared against other generation Apple Watches, check out this video over here so I can do a battery drain test video where I not only drain every single Apple Watch battery and see which one lasts the longest, but I also show you which Apple Watch charges the fastest. Definitely do check out that video for that battery test. And then that video over there, that's just a video YouTube's recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.